All right, so here is the squash patch, one of them, with some butternut squash and blue Hubbard. And then here's a little melon patch as well. Um, a couple different kinds of melons there. And we've been having some issues with the blue Hubbard getting, I believe, squash vine borer. Um, I opened up one of the stems and there were a bunch of larvae in there. I haven't seen any adults that I've been able to ID, but you can see some clear signs if you look at that wilt starting to happen. There's a big Hubbard, which I may lose. Um, but as you trace it back to the base, if I can get a shot here, that is what the stem looks like. Completely chewed apart. The, there's other insects that get in there. Spread disease pretty much kills the vine. Um, here's another example right there. So I've been burying along the line of the uh, Blue Hubbard. The butternut, I guess, is less susceptible. Haven't been having very many issues with that, but I've been trying to stay ahead of them, bury them. But now I'm going to experiment with something I read online where you can inject BT or thuricide, which is an organic pesticide that uh, kills the larva. So I'm gonna kind of experiment with that and show you how I do that. All right, so here I have the product that I'm using, um, BT, it's a bonide product. Oh, that sounds kind of bad, but it's a uh, BT thuricide, um, naturally occurring pathogen that will destroy certain uh, caterpillars, worms, and ev evidently squash vine borer larva. And then I also picked up these syringes at Walgreens. The guy looked kind of bummed when I asked for syringes, um, but I'm just using it for injecting plants, not intravenous drug use, like you may have assumed. So I have some of this BT right here in this solo cup and I'm just going to fill up my syringe and I'm getting ahead of these hopefully a lot of them have not started wilting so if I can get ahead of them hopefully I can stop the issue from happening but super fine needle full of that BT there that I'm going to go along the base and inject it in. Um, and the stem is really rotted out pretty badly. So I go maybe a foot deep. And then, cause when I ripped up one of the dead plants, I noticed that the larva were pretty close to the base, but they were moving down, down the stem. So I go to one of these Hubbard squashes, kind of a tangled mess in here. Find the base, definitely destroyed by some of the vine borer. Punch it in and inject. So I'm gonna watch these as I go and see if it helped out at all. Um, I guess we'll see if, uh, if any of these survive. All right, so I'm gonna to try to show how I inject this into the vine. Um, if you look up there, pretty torn apart stem goes out, pretty healthy looking vine uh, into some pretty large Hubbard squash down the way there. And I take this needle right here and I just go down by the stem, sorry, I'm kind of stretching here while filming with my hand. Inject it into the vine and then just plunge it. Seems to be going right in. So we'll see if any of that works. I haven't done too much research, but I'm hoping that these don't completely die off. 